Well, we're waiting for our shuttle. It's about almost eight o'clock, and we're gonna get. Uh, it's about a twenty minute drive, I think she said, to get up to the, to the back up to the trail. So we're waiting for that, and then we're gonna head out of here and try to do a decent amount of mileage. Yesterday we did twenty. We're gonna try to do twenty today. Just try to stay around twenty. You know, just trying to up our average slowly. You know, we're not gonna do too much that we can't handle. Um, but we're all packed up. Had some delicious waffles this morning that Jeff made. <sighs> and a waffle, it's not like it was hard. I mean, wow. he just he just poured it in a waffle maker. Yeah, secret mix. So, I mean, I cook all the other time when we're out there, so it was his turn to do something. But <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna head out today and just see what we can get. I think we're gonna try to get to. There's a a city called Bland. We're gonna try to walk past that today, and <clears throat> because we just we can, we, we just take get our good mileage. We need to walk past it today, so that's what we're gonna do. And the hike doesn't look too hard. It looks relatively flat. I mean, I say that, but I mean, there's still lots of up and downs. But compared to what we had been doing in Smokies and Tennessee and Virginia too, until like tomorrow today tomorrow um but yeah we'll let y'all know how, how far we end up going today and we'll we'll show y'all some some stuff along the way that's a nice new bridge So I thought I would share this video. We're sitting here. Gavin's, he just took his pack off uh, to take his shirt off. And I got the strangest smell. And I was like, I asked him, I was like, what is that smell? I said, it, it finally smells so good. And he's like, uh, deodorant. <laughs> so that's what a night at a hostel will do. You get this strange aroma coming from Gavin and it's deodorant. <laughs> that's how bad it is out here. Looks like a good spot for lunch. So here we are, finally crossing Interstate 77. Uh, don't miss all that. This might blow the horn at us. There's one. Well, we've hiked, I guess, about 21 miles today had kind of a late start at 8 30. um we we got dropped off by the hostel owner at about 8 30 uh which it was fine because we had waffles this morning that was fantastic but son's trying to sit back there in the back can't actually he well, can see it but it's not a very pretty sunset tonight there's some nights where you just gotta stop and look at it for a while but Tonight is not one of those nights. So we're doing about 22 today altogether. 
once we get to this campsite, it's actually a parking lot, but you know, it's like gravel pull off and there's a few places for some tents. So <clears throat> we're gonna stop there for the night. A long day. I mean, once we get there, it should be like 11 and a half hours of hiking today, which is a long time, I guess. It's been tough today, but I mean, we're getting it done. That's our longest mileage. And, so, and we've seen a bear about um, three, two, three miles in this morning. It was a baby bear, which was a little concerning. He, so it was like 10 yards off the trail um, in like a, like a briar thicket. I guess mama had parked him there. And we get about 10 yards from it. We can't see, we didn't know it was there. And it starts tearing out of that thing. And we look over and we're like, what is that? And a few seconds later, you can see it and it's clearly, you know, a baby bear. I mean, just ripping down the mountain. It got all the way down there and it stopped and looked at us for a while and then just kind of walked off looking around, obviously, because it didn't really know what to do, I guess. I never saw mama, thank the Lord. Cause that would have been not good for us um but it was cool just seeing a bear because i've been wanting to see a bear the whole time not really in that circumstance though but we saw one nonetheless so i'm happy with it um tomorrow we got to do 12, 12 miles tomorrow to do what prince grocery it's like right off the trail somewhere but that's where mom was picking us up so we did so much today so we didn't have to do as much tomorrow didn't really feel like doing all that tomorrow whenever you know we're gonna be in a bed tomorrow night so we can you know just get done with those 12 miles by and rest for the rest of the day we also hiked with a guy a little bit today and He's been counting the trees that have fallen on the trail. And this is what you do when you're hiking by yourself, apparently. He's counted a total of, what was it? When we, when we saw him, it was like 782 trees yeah. down on the trail. And from Georgia all the way here. That means we've walked over a total of 782 trees. 783, I just walked over another one. And so, that was interesting, I guess. Kind of, I guess when you're that bored, you just, I mean, you just make up games, I guess. Having, having Jeff over here with me, maybe that helps a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> Not much to talk to, but so yeah, that's that's basically the end of the day today. Hopefully, we get a good night's sleep tonight. Start early in the morning and just get to relax for the rest of the day tomorrow and black pack on Saturday and uh wow just full of magnolias all that magnolias <laughs> muscadine <laughs> why I said magnolia it sounds the same but it's like I don't know if yeah but it's just a bunch of muscadine vines see this like, all this whole forest is just it's just covered with them I mean it, it's it's weird but yeah so that's it for the day. We'll, we'll pick y'all back up in the morning. So this is a uh, night hiking on the Appalachian Trail. If you're having an hour feeling good. Decided to keep on hiking. We stopped and ate dinner. And let's get some more miles in. I think we're at 23 right now. But the weather's beautiful. Almost, almost a full moon up there. I don't know if you can see it out there. It is. A lot of light on the trail. We got our headlamps if we need them. I had to turn mine on for this video, but we've been hiking without them. But still hiking, feeling good. I see a white blaze, so it's always a plus. Right there, bam. Still on the trail. <laughs>